Okay, let's make something kindly different. Suppose that I am in a control room and I am the operator of the VFD. I don't have time to go down and turn it on or turn it off via the potentiometer and the digital inputs. I don't have time of that. So uh, basically we made a simple application using LabVIEW and Modbus TCP. That's why there are parameters of the network as is. It don't show very well, but I'm on the network and the remote port is 502. That's uh, the Modbus TCP, TCP default port of, of communication. Uh, we're using a standard Ethernet cable through a network card. There are two kinds of network card that you can order. This one is of Modbus TCP and the other one is N2 protocol of Johnson Controls. So let's now uh, first I change the the mode of operation of the VFD in remote mode. I select here local or control uh, and press enter. Right. If I press enter, the VFD goes to local control, so we don't want that. We want to make remote control. Okay. Right now, I have my standard VI running, configured uh, on the network, and just we want to start our VFD. Let's see. The output frequency is increasing up to 60 Hz. Well, chat is running, chat is OK, and installed. And finally, we want to stop our VFD and see our frequency decreasing even in the application guide interface so that's the main control application of VFD we want to see the source code involved on the control have a simple uh, event programming in LabVIEW. One event is for start, the VFD, and the other uh, case is for stop the VFD. Very simple, very useful, and of course uh, it is very uh, simplistic to use uh, Modbus TCP right this ways to control an application remotely. Thanks.